All right, here it is. How to install an e-fascia. Let's get to it. Okay, this is a three inch offset mark. It'll help us get a more accurate measurement when measuring by ourselves. Just take that measurement, and add three inches. Okay, I'm gonna start by marking a flap and a 45 degree mark on the bottom edge. Once I have that in, I'm just gonna notch on the bottom, leaving some material on that 45 degree line and then finishing the notch by cutting in on that flap. Okay, I have my folders, just some one inch deep folders. I'm gonna brace it with my hand and kink it to start, give that little kink there and then finish the bend to 90 degrees. This will give good support for when we finish the fascia board later on. Next, we're gonna drop in that measurement we took from the eaves from our three inch offset mark. I'm gonna lay that in right now. Once I have that marked, I'm gonna grab my square, drop in a square line and add an allowance for a flap. Now, an inside corner receives a 45 degree angle also, but in the opposite direction. Once I have that in place, I'm gonna grab my snips, cut on these lines that I've made in preparation for the bending phase. Okay, I'm just gonna notch this off real quick, remove the excess material. Again, here, I'm leaving material on that 45 degree line, and you'll see why in some upcoming videos. But this is how you start this detail. Okay, once I've notched that properly, uh, it looks like I've left too much allowance for my one inch deep folders. I'm just gonna shorten it down by cutting more off, no big deal. Or get some deeper folders, but this will do just fine. I'll put a little starting notch. That's, this helps us with that kink that we tried to put in before when uh, I had to brace it with my hand. But now I put it flat on the bench, push my folders into the bench, and bend at the same time. And it gives a really nice crease in that metal. Okay, now that we've finished this 90 degree bend here, the fascia is ready for installation. Now if our measurements are right, this should just pop right in. And look at that, nice and clean. Just some 5 eighths of an inch soffit screws, colors to match right through the face because we're gonna be putting eaves trough on here and you won't see those screws in the end. So this just makes it easy and quick and no visible screws in the end. There's our excess we left, there's our flap, and this will clean things up when we go to install the next piece of fascia. And we'll eventually turn that around on the face. Hopefully this was helpful. Guys, thanks for watching, I appreciate you. And click this video for another fascia video we did. Bye for now.